Hello guys, welcome back to this hair modeling video series. Recently, I finished working on this character and in this video, I would like to do a bit of a breakdown of how I approach making this kind of hairstyle. I've had a tons of fun working on this and it was quite good learning opportunity to improve my skills. Before we start, I just want to mention that I'm still learning and improving my hairstyling skill every day. So please know that my method is not like a best way, okay? But with that being mentioned, let's begin. As usual, I started off gathering the reference images for this particular hairstyle. So I went to the Pinterest and got some images. Also, I have found this awesome YouTuber called Missy Su. She makes tons of cool hairstyling videos and her video really helped me to understand and to plan out how I would approach making this kind of hairstyle. If you are into hairstyling like I am, I will highly recommend you to check in her videos out. Once I have gathered up the reference images, I created a rough block out of the hair based on them. The block out itself doesn't need to be detailed at all, it just needs to represent the volume and design of the hair. It is kind of tempting to add more detail, but if you did that, then you would be just wasting time on something that is unnecessary. So try to keep it simple and make it quick. For the hair texture creation process, I use a software called the Fiber Shop. It is easy to use and powerful tool which allows you to create any type of hair texture that you need. I created two different hair texture for layer 0, 3 for layer 1, and 3 for layer 2. Also, I created a texture for the transitioning hair and eyebrows. You can create many types of hair textures, but in this tutorial, I'm going to be using the opacity map and depth map in the blender. You can create them with hair tool as well, so don't worry if you don't use a fiber shop. So bring in your hair broke out in the blender, and we are going to start making hair layer 0, which is used to cover up the scope of a head. Append the plane, mark root as a sharp, press Ctrl Shift H, generate curves from grid. By default, the hair tool is using the default hair texture, so if you have your own textures, you need to go into the shader editor, select the pre-existing texture and press M to mute. And then go into the hair parameter, bring in your opacity map and depth map and set up the shader like this. Once this is done, we go to the image editor and assign UVs for only hair layer 0. Now we can start making the hair. As for the method, I'm going to be heavily relying on the manual approach as opposed to generate the curves from a grid feature because it allows me to have most amount of control and optimization. And moreover, I find that it is much easier and simpler to just place haircuts one by one to create a design of the hair and it can prevent me from adding unnecessary polygons. But you can of course use any method you like. So using the block out as a guide, I'm going to start placing the haircuts from bottom level of the head and walking way up to the top. This helps me to create nice layering effect over the hair. Unless you are making hair for the mobile game or have a strict polygon count budget, you should use this approach. And for the optimization purpose, we are going to set the curve resolution as low as possible. In my case, I like to set both curve resolution profile and resolution along the strand to 1. I do this process for all of my layers and only increase the resolution of the hair if it is necessary. The goal here is to create a major form of the hair with as few haircuts as possible. If you are having problem with matching the root of the haircuts to the shape of the scope, you can change the profile of the curve. To do that, select the curve, press Ctrl Shift H, select Update Profile, and then tweak the roundness values.
For the braid, we can create it easily by using generate braid feature. All you need to do is to append the curve object and match its shape to the block out and press Ctrl Shift H, generate braid. Now you have a braid with many settings that you can tweak to achieve the desired look. For the braid, we need to adjust the texture because we have the texture wrapping around this mesh and since there are blank space on both sides of it, it is creating the visible gap on the braid. So what we need to do is to create a new material and move the UVs to the full opacity zone. This way, we can eliminate the problem we are having. Now we have the braid in place, we are going to create the haircuts that are flowing into the braid and making them live together. Here's the how the layer looks in the end. Moving on to the hair layer 1, which is used to break up the texture from the previous layer and create the design of the hair. So make the new material, assign the new UVs, and start placing the hair cards. For this layer, we need to create a variation to the hair strands. So instead of placing the hair cards one by one, we are going to create groups of hair clumps and place them to make our life easier. So just like we did before, generate hair cards from the plane, assign different texture to each hair cards, choose two of them, overlap them, and create a slight angle differences like 20 degrees. We are going to use this to create a major shape of the hair and use the individual hair cards to fill in the gap.
Moving on to the hair layer too, or fly away layer. This is responsible for adding more flow and life to the hair and making it look interesting. We don't need as many haircuts for this layer, but we need more variations. Now, once you have finished everything, your hair might look something like this. If you are planning to use it in the blender, your work is done. But if you are thinking of using this in the game engine like I have to do, there is optimization process that you can do. Select all the hair cards, go to the curve setting tab on the right, reduce the curve resolution, right click, and select copy to selected. This will reduce the polygon count of all the hair cards at once. So finally, press the Ctrl Shift H, Finalize hair and your work is done. Now, treat yourself with a nice cup of tea because you definitely deserve it for your hard work. Congratulations my friends, you have successfully finished this hair modeling process. It was a really fun project to tackle and it was a good learning opportunity to improve my hairstyling skills. In the beginning, I didn't exactly show how I was going to make the hair like this but once I started making it, things went well and it was just a relaxing process. I absolutely love hairstyling work and I cannot wait to make more hairstyle in the future. But that's all I have got for today. If you have any questions or tips you can share with the community, please leave them in the comment section below. Thank you so much for watching and until next time, see you later.